Hello, everyone, and uh, you are not dreaming. This is me. I'm back in the Hello Neighbor mod kit. Uh, I'm not here alone today. I'm here with my friend Animator, who we talked for a little bit, and we thought it would be a great idea for me to come back to Hello Neighbor, go on like a nostalgia trip with some like old mods and stuff, you know? So, uh, you know, <laughs> you can say it now, right? Yeah, I can. I was trying to think of a word to say, like, this is so crazy, but that's like a cliche. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, Mr. Pigmanator is officially back in a way. A way or, you know, one way or another. I'm gonna be making Hello Neighbor videos on mods again. Hopefully the modding community is still active. I know there's a, a, a ton of mods since last time I played, because it's been a year or two. There has to be at least, like, uh, a couple dozen mods for me to play after all this time. I don't care what it is, I might play your mod. Just send me in, in the comments, uh, you know, and I'll get to work on videos soon. But this is just going to be like our introductory video, and I'm going to be playing one of my old mods. And it was actually, it's not just a random mod of mine. It's, it's the last mod I ever made before my hiatus with this game. And uh, I want it to be known, I never quit this game because I didn't like it. I actually have been wanting to return to Hello Neighbor for ever since I left. Well, the mainline games, you can say whatever you want about them, and I'll agree, they're not really that good compared to the mods that I've played. I really prefer playing the mods rather than the actual game. But, so that's why I'm here and not just playing the base game. I don't know if I'll play Hello Neighbor 2, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's start playing Fear Prison 2, my final mod that I ever made. Yeah. Alright, so x Air, my friend, he is working and he made the thumbnail for me for this video. But uh, this is Fear Prison 2. This is my biggest mod ever. And I, it, I made it like almost two years ago now, which is crazy to believe. And after all this time, you think that after all this time they would add updates to the Hello Neighbor mod kit, but no. This mod still works. It's still functional because I played like a minute or two of it. I haven't seen a vast majority of the map, but I saw like a first minute or two, like the first two minutes of it and stuff. I'm pretty sure this switch is supposed to activate that gate over there, but I pressed it and nothing happened. Uh, so I don't know. I might have to no clip to, through it like I did last time. But uh, yeah, x uh, can you see the screen right now? Just making sure because it's supposed to be screen sharing. Is, or is it I, just the layout? I can see the screen, but I can just see the Unreal Engine like for editor. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I will fix that. I will fix that real quick. All right, I fixed it. Now you should be able to see what I'm playing, so you can uh, commentate on this to share your thoughts. I'm trying to figure out how I get through this because I legitimately forgot but, a lot of things about this map. As you expect. And it's after. back to the Unreal Engine editor what? layout. What? No. <laughs> Bullcrap. What is Okay, I think I might know why. Alright, I'll just share my whole screen. I'll share my whole screen. You can see everything. It doesn't really matter, but you can see everything. Alright, so you can see my whole screen now. But, uh, yeah. I think, actually, yes, 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 yes. There, you see the switch back here, right? How do I get that? I thought that, that, was, a, I thought that, that was the eviction note from the start of the game. Oh! Okay, so, I thought that switch in the other room on the left... Uh, yeah, no, on the right, that room that I went in the, the, over there, right down there, I went in that room, I thought the switch down there would have activated the gate, and it was glitched, and it wouldn't activate the gate just because it was glitched, but no, it actually does work. Uh, I pressed the switch down there, and it activated. So, uh, now I'm in this room, and I remember I played this, and, uh, there's a key- Jesus! Okay, the physics are still worse than ever. But I, I know there's a key right here. It's like Half-Life 1 engine physics yeah. where sometimes yeah. it'll just completely glitch out and you will just Yeah, die. exactly, exactly. And I know that you gotta get this uh, hammer up here. This is like the- this is uh, the jury hammer. And then I can use this to get the nails off. The doors are still glitchy. I think that's the actual game, not the mod. Maybe. Oh dude, there's some creepy whispering. Gotta get this. Secret neighbor and yeah, I wonder we're going to uh, my friend Modder. My friend Modder. I'm talking to him about this. He said that they might add a secret neighbor mod kit, and that that's gonna be crazy if people can make their own secret neighbor maps that actually are like competitively playable. You know, you know what I mean? 
I would actually yeah. probably hop on that. I want to make more Hello Neighbor mods, but I, I think They're I have the basic cool. gist of it still. Yeah. I mean, I think I, I think have the basic gist, but it's... Because the thing yeah, that cause... I, I was caught on to... Oh god, what just happened? I think what it... What the heck? Oh. You're inside of a vent cover. Uh, no, look. Uh, <laughs> it broke. Okay, we're, we're, we're going into uh, uncharted territory. I have not seen past this point. Right. Not Past this point, I have not seen anything. I just we're wanted to test if this work, this and it actually does. System. Yes, it, it actually really is. I, uh, it has taken me back. I, I really want this video to get out there, so if you guys see this video, share it with friends. Tell them that the legend is back. And, oh my god, there's a crying guy over there. I got some- I got some clown shoes! Look at this! I got some clown shoes! Oh, dude, it's super loud. I just realized what this is! This is a crime scene! Look, I can throw them off the edge and they die, look. The mannequins. I- Yeah. Yeah, you- I think if you went down there, you would die. Dude, it's so loud, the whispering! But look, you see that blood right there? This is a crime scene. Look, you even got the cars, and there was a guy up there crying. I think I'm remembering the story I was trying to make. But, you see these police cars, they're like shadowy police cars, right? Oh, dude! Yeah, it's like a pulsating lock, too. That's weird. Oh, uh, two shadow people, you know, and they both have lights. They basically work as car lights, and some TVs making some really scary noises, right? There's a giant windmill sound and this really big guy. There's so many sounds. I hear the windmill and I hear the crying and I heard those like whispering. Jesus, all right. But I'm out of that room. I'm out of that room. You hear that windmill? I don't think you can hear the, hear the sound, Exterminator, because it's sharing I my whole screen. No, but. Yeah, it doesn't will... work like that. I have to share the actual application for the sound to work. It's kind of kind of sucks how you can't hear, but there's like a really deep windmill. There's actually two windmill sounds. There's like a windmill that's like normal sound, and there's also like, you know, uh, it's like a deep sounded windmill. And you see this survey la survey la neck more and power. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm gonna guess that's not a spelling error, and that's just me trying to imitate the Hello Neighbor language because they all talk the talk weird. You I know? love how the power box is a solid yellow cube with the word yeah. power. Yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> it's just like a giant cube, and it's actually connected up to this uh, gadget that's showing all of the cameras. But look, watch this. You need to see this part. I remember uh, making this bricks, and as soon as I saw this, like I just came in this room, I say, "Oh God, I remember this." You could, you know. <laughs> I, I spent like 30 minutes adding all of these bricks. There was like 50 bricks in this one area in total, so it, it took a while to add them all. But I'm gonna walk through, I'm just gonna run through it. Look, just make sure you're watching, look. Ugh. Yeah, right, you'll hear the sound when I actually upload the video. The sound's really weird, yeah. it's like brrrr. But uh, I yeah, I, I think there's a key. Yeah, you can't hear the sound because of the way it's screen sharing. But yeah, I remember this key here. And uh, oh god! Nice. I just flipped. Oh. Alright, so, that I got the yellow key, and even, now we're in this room. Oh crap. I'm in no way affiliated with this mod, but I'm still getting yeah. extremely nostalgic. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> me too. It's just like, I'm very like hyperactive in like, you know, because this is something I made. We gotta remember that. And just, it, it, yeah. I think it takes like 20 minutes to beat, so we better hurry up if we don't want this to be a super long video, you know? But, uh, right. yeah, um, this is just a room with a bunch of boxes. I don't think there's anything here. I'm gonna go up here. There's a lot of vents, I noticed. There's a lot of vents, and it's probably why it takes long, because you gotta crouch to all these places. Oh, there's text here. Hello, you've come a long way. I was here a couple hours ago. I locked the door so they couldn't find me, and I hid the two keys in the two rooms, but I forgot where the orange one was. Good luck. I All still right, love um, it, how it's the Unreal Engine font on yeah, the wall. That's yeah, amazing. it's the Unreal Engine font. I don't know, I remember like uh, when I was making mods, I don't think there was any way to actually change the font, so it was just always Unreal Engine. Oh, dude. You can change the, why is whoa, that so whoa, do you see that? All these boxes just fell down when I hit that red. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember this, I remember this. This took a, this took, this takes uh there's like a key that drops down here somewhere. It's like through all these boxes, you gotta 
it's gonna be really hard trying to see I'm this. I'm more surprised about the huge amount of flying crates and boxes. I'm more surprised that a human was able to flip that humongous switch. Um, yeah, it's just like a gigantic switch. It's like, oh, just push it. You know, it's because it's just like sized up from its normal size. Yeah, I wish there was a way to make it like I have to throw something at it. You know, maybe that would be cool. But, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, uh, disclaimer, this mod is not actively in development, this mod is free to download, it's really, really old, and I just killed myself, wow, okay, now we gotta make it back there, cause I killed myself when I was walking over those boxes and it glitched me out, alright, alright, I'm just, I just decided I will no clip over there, oh my god, look at this, That's where the sound was coming from, yeah, you can actually see the windmill, but I'm gonna no clip over there since I've already seen all this, I and I just wanna get back over there, <laughs> <laughs> that's not the mod's fault. That's the funny part. That's not the mod's fault. That's the actual game. The game still has really bad physics after all these years. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that they programmed their to own. Pretty sure that they programmed their own physics engine mm. instead of using something like someone else's yeah. physics engine. Probably I made their own physics. I just said physics engine terribly. Yeah, it's a really bad physics because you. I've died twice while trying to play this mod. Once when I was just test see if it would work and the other time whenever you know just now so i got a brown key there's uh actually three keys but this guy says he hid keys in two rooms oh no he says i hid the keys in the two rooms not that he hid two keys anyways stop paying attention to small details that don't really matter uh we need a pink key and an orange key which i would assume would be in here because you know uh that place had only one key i think from what i remember this mod, I remember, it took me so long to make. This mod took me, like, like two months to make, almost, I think, because of how long it is, you know? Yeah. Because I showed you the editor preview. You saw how massive it was, like, if you were viewing yeah. it from the top-down view. Yeah, it's actually huge. And I remember seeing, like, some of my old buddies that used to that I used to talk to all the time, Conrad. He made a 30-minute video on this mod, I think. I think it's 30 minutes. But yeah, that just shows you how long it takes to beat this fully. We're already 10 minutes in. So I better hurry up. And I don't know where these keys are. I would assume one's probably hidden under the chairs. I remember mods used to be so tedious with where they put the keys. It was yeah, so always, uh, you know, they always put an easy place, like you said, in a fridge or something. Or just put yeah. it in, like, a very, you know, discreet spot. And they also used to put it above lockers. Yeah, it's maybe. Oh, oh, that's actually a good idea. Box stacking physics were Box so Box stacking terrible. physics are still bad. Yeah, remember that you actually have to do that in the base game, it's right? Like a, it's like stacking things in Half-Life 2. It's so terrible. Yeah, tedious. Alright, so that, this is awkward. I got McDonald's now, but that's besides the point. Um, no, wrong way. I gotta try and see if there's actually things on these uh, lockers. Because you, I think there might be. I don't know if Imagine I Imagine if there's that. nothing and it's just a complete waste of time. It's oh. a complete waste of time, I think. Yeah, it's a complete waste of time. There's nothing up there. That Maybe. brings- I might have to look in the mod kit to find where the other key is, because I legitimately forgot. Hold up. Yeah, dude, this map is huge! Let me see if I can find the actual right room. I might have to- No, this is the room that we came through. This is- This- No, what the- I'm like outside now? Okay, so this is the room where there's two giant windows. So if I go through here, right? Oh my god, it's so hard to see. I'm just gonna search up key. Actually, no, that will give me a location of all the keys, so I have a better idea. I'm gonna put a light. Not a skylight, that's not how that works. I put a directional light. No. Change its size huge. Huh. Uh, so, oh, oh, there's previews everywhere now. Look at this. Preview. Oh. All right, now I can see. I found the area. I think it's this blue one. No? Yeah, it's the blue room. And uh, I should be able to see where the key is. I'm gonna search it. I don't care. I think it would be- there's, we saw like three keys so far, so it'd be like key four? No, key five? What is this? There's a- there's oh, that- one in there's, that cell. there's no- how do you get that? How do you get that? I think there's like a hole in the wall or something. That's, uh, this thing isn't tied to anything, right? There's no way, dude. This is some cryptic stuff. 
That must be a prop. That must be a prop. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that's a prop. Also, we found the key. Uh but I gotta delete sure. these. The thing is that I'm not sure if it's a prop is the thing because you wouldn't put a prop hiding in the middle of a sink. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but there's no way to get in that room, right? Alright, so I can do I can start the game at the camera location that I'm at. I'm we're relearning this mod kit as we go. Oh, okay, that did not work. Okay, it's gonna be really hard for me to find. I'm gonna do like Fulbright. What's like the Fulbright command? You remember like the full light. light command? No lighting command? What is it? Check, uh, look up bright. See if. Light. Bright. Nope. Bright, perhaps? Full bright. I think I'm gonna just, uh. Oh, I am getting into some places I don't need to be. Oh, is oh, this it? Here we are. I made it! Wow! Alright. Alright, so the key, it was like on this side. This. Oh, okay, no, there's a pink one. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just go through it. We don't have all day, alright? You know, I won't cheat anymore, but we just need to. for 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, I'll crop this out. I'll crop a lot of this out, like the filler parts. But we just need to, like, get to see everything that we need to see. You know, everything that this mod has to offer, actually. What? Oh, dude, okay, that's that creepy room. Bunch of upside down prison cells and stuff. The best thing about this is that the doors oh, are. Oh, dude. Oh, hey, an electric chair. Yeah, this is an electric chair and there's some creepy wrestling. This place is pure evil, I tell you. Why did you come here? To save someone or to break out? Whispering is not helping. I've headed forward since you saw this. Hope we can meet up. I on ran out of ink, it says, in like brighter color. That's an interesting detail. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Let's yeah, see what's in here. In huge terminal. There's nothing in this okay. terminal. What about it's this one? Boxes. Oh, there's a missing poster. Yeah, behind the boxes. Um, there's something behind the boxes. I don't actually have enough space, so I gotta I gotta get rid of this stuff. Uh, this key is uh, not needed anymore, I think. There's nothing behind these boxes. I need just props. Oh, we can we need a like magenta key basically. It's like a mm -hmm. bluish key. It Greenish. might be under one of the uh, chairs, perhaps. Maybe. No. Well, now, now I'm realizing. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right. Now I'm realizing just how hard it must have been to play some of my mods. Because I'm not even. I remember what to do at some points. Oh, I see a key there though. Or no, that's a wrench actually. If I can I make it there. I remember when people would try to blend keys in with the color of the surface that they were on, and it was oh, like impossible. Wait, that actually, that actually is what's oh, hey, right there. I see it. We have the box stack. It seems. Unfortunately. Oh no. I remember Luckily, it's a lot in easier to see in this room. There is actually a, a bug in Act Two where you could jump off and fall, jump from uh, the roof of boxes. Jump oh, dude, it's table. so much easier to see in this room. Oh, apologies for interrupting, <laughs> but yeah, thankfully you can see. Careful! Oh, I made it. Yes. The I got the wrench too. I'm a, I don't- I, I won't let me lunch? take it, it's a prop it seems, just won't let me have it. I think this is some sort of storage room, maybe. Anyways, I hit a key here, which we found. Hopefully that slows them down. If the doors are unlocked, try and find it. I forgot where I put it. Well, he forgets a lot hey, of didn't things. Didn't he just say that he ran out of ink? <laughs> well, no, it's, uh, it's white text. It must be a different guy. You know, it's like, you know how some characters are represented by colors? It must be a different guy. Maybe. Where you found your ink and just didn't tell us. Seems to not know. be in as much distress. Yeah. There's a lot of weird stuff. I have a fridge. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, crowbar since there's a wire. Oh, dude, look, there's a little hole in there. You can actually see, oh, like, a little grass. hole in the... There's grass Oh, there. white key. Yeah, that's the outside area. I remember this. Which one? Oh, thank God! The lighting in the game is also bad because, like, if I like, I, I like blind myself. Look, you see, and like the color starts fading back in. I remember so much motion oh. blur. Yeah, there is. Oh my. Uh, you see how whenever I see that light, everything just goes black and starts fading back in. It's like we have yeah. some kind of like eye disorder almost. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. 
Now I'm gonna keep the light on. Oh, this is probably the weirdest room in this entire prison. I heard stories out in the courtyard. Oh! That's why there's an outside area, because it's the courtyard. Makes sense. I wonder what the white key's for, though, because I, I don't see a white lock. There was more doors oh, here, there's one. Oh. I found the courtyard key. It's like the cyan one. Oh no, the white key goes to this. A key card. Oh yeah, the key card's in the fridge. In the fridge uh, take a look. Mean... We gotta melt it. And you see how the wire goes through there? We probably have to go through it in here. And we can yeah, somehow. Oh! Way to melt it. Someone left a oh, generator out here. Perfect. Hmm. Hey, uh, All right, that's, that's a cool. Very empty courtyard. <laughs> that's probably not the courtyard because there's like a other room there. Oh, dude, wait, wait, listen to this. Attention to detail. Oh, there's a missing texture there. That's my <laughs> mistake from like two years ago. But look, whenever I go outside, it actually makes like the sound of the crickets chirping, and it stops the I can't like. I hear that. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, you'll hear it in the video. You know how like. Usually there's like sounds of like cricket, cr crickets yeah. when you're outside. That's what I hear every I time I go out there. I that was in the pre-alpha. Yeah, it's a nostalgic sound though, because uh, it's really old. Come yeah, on, yeah. key. I mean, key card. I got it. I'm eating french fries while we do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect for the occasion. Yeah. Alright. You think I give you, you, give you french fries or prison food? I don't know. Okay, well this is definitely the courtyard. Yeah, and there's the key, the black key. There's a lot of keys in this mod. Why is there a key in the- I'm not- I don't know. I should've really- I should've really thought this stuff through if I was like, Oh, let's just put a key here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, neighbor, name a this thing is... that was thought through. Yeah, <laughs> well this is a pretty fine mod if I say so myself. I mean, not gloating myself. Light. Yeah, it's um, it takes a while to complete it, so it's actually basically kind of like its own game. <gasps> oh, I see that light over there. I think that's the exit, also, the way to get out of this. Also, there was um, huh? The thing that you oh have yes, to yes. Do where you'd have to we need a wrench, but those other wrenches wouldn't let me pick it up. Oh, look at this guy. Problem. Look at this dummy. He's like it's weird a looking. It's, it's, it's like a, it's a mannequin, but it uses yeah, it's a, colored it's a it's a metal mannequin almost. Metal mannequin. Oh. No. There are the basketballs. I don't think they do anything. Okay, so I cannot see at all if I turn off my flashlight. Is there actually? Yup. Yet another courtyard. I says that text. I'm really smart, but I'm not sure if you would do that. There's basketballs everywhere, so what if you actually have to hit it through the hoop? Hmm. Oh! Oh, yeah, actually! <laughs> yes! I uh, you just- yeah, that's a great a idea. Um, there. Yeah, there's a wrench, so I, I gotta get rid of this real quick. Actually, you should keep the crowbar just in case. Um, yes, actually, that's right. I'll take it. I gotta hit- hit that. Oh! Here it comes. Oh. That's actually pretty smart, uh, to, you know, do that. Alright, I gotta Have hit it again. Have you just stuck in that position? Um, oops. Wait, maybe I can grab it. Nope, still too far up. I would- I playtested this, alright? Trust me, so I would- I would- I think, shot Oh, there it goes! Oh. Yep, uh, I didn't think it would ever get stuck. But, you never know. Also, it's making, like, leaves rustling sound now. I'm not gonna make it another there outside noise. There no leaves anywhere. Yeah, it's like uh, everything outside of your area you walk into is a void. It, it's really more of a stylistic choice if I had to think. Oh, more whispering. But uh, you know how like everything outside of the area is basically a void. Maybe it's like, you know, we're devoid of hope. You made it! Nice. Continue past these cells. Huh. If I remember something bad happens, I don't know. Prison would write nice. I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, survivors. You're almost there. This will be my last message. I run out of ink, finally. Once you find the stairs, they lead you to the surface. Goodbye, soldier. I like how he put, I run out of ink before he put the last line. Yeah. This must be the end, because I see the stairs. I remember to make these stairs. Oh, Look. Yeah, there's the huge gate there on is. outside. And, um, oh, it actually teleports. Wow. I actually got teleported. What's There's an end. There's another map. 
There's another map oh, in the God. files called uh, Fear Prison. In the <coughs> oh God, what the hell? <gasps> I'm dying. Okay. Yes. I'm choking on one know. of my French fries, but also I didn't know French fries were that lethal. Yeah. Could have died, bro. Oh, it's all black because it's compiling the shaders. I think. Cause look in the corner, it's a compiling shaders. I'm just not gonna move until they yeah. compile, so we Classic can actually see. Engine. It's just that thing with Unreal. I just saw the uh, I just saw the market there, and that reminded me of yeah, the supermarket. Hello, oh. neighbor. How there were some crashed. achievements that there were some achievements that you could get for going out of the map. Like for example, uh, if you flew across the map, there. What is happening? I think the game crashed. Oh, my entire editor just crashed. Oh, wow. Classic. Wow. You, you know what I think just know. happened? I dropped a french fry on the floor, right? And then I placed it on my table so I could throw it away later. I think I just ate it by accident. I just ate hair. Oh, God. Thank you for sharing with the class. Yeah. Oh, the map. <laughs> Look, here it is. All right, it works. It just screwed Actual up last textures, time. There's no way. So this is after we escape the prison, look. Whoa. A piece? Uh, wait, so low piece, yes. And the pusser market. You know, I think that honestly, uh, that map was uh, significantly bigger than that building. Yeah, that kind of probably, like, you know how like all the fear rooms, right? We got the yeah. fear, we got the fear, wasn't there a fear hospital, right? I remember there being one. We got the fear hospital. And, uh, you were, like, in the fear maps, right? They were, like, huge, but after you escape, they're just, like, tiny. Maybe yeah. that's just to follow with the theme. That's what it seems I like. I think that my favorite, uh, fear room was the green But now we got a giant monument, which is very, I really very didn't nice in texture. I really like the supermarket one, as well as that one was. Yeah. But that's the Fun end of the thing. map. This is just, like, a little prologue if you actually beat it so you can, like, return home. I'm assuming this is our house, right? It's a really small house. Can't and go in because it's a alpha prop. Alpha four, you can't go in it. Yeah, that's the Alpha Four house then. But yeah, that was. No matter if it's a prop, you couldn't go in it anyway. Yeah, I should have made it to like um the house. You can go inside, so you actually get kind of mm. like a reward for winning. Yeah. But yeah, that was a really good nostalgia trip. I will be playing more Hello Neighbor mods if you guys submit them to me. Because we're back in business officially with Hello Neighbor mods, and uh, this Anomal is just the first of any episode. Yes. Anomalous mods. Yes. Prepare for the future, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. This is Anomalous Ducky signing off.